of us know, I don't need to say this, uh, Nigeria is Africa's largest democracy and a very val valued member uh, of the Commonwealth. And the Commonwealth has a long tradition of supporting the country's democratic development through election observation. And this will be the seventh, the seventh time a Commonwealth Observer Group will be observing elections in Nigeria since 1999. And our group has been in Abuja since the 18th of February. And our mandate is to observe and assess the pre-election period, activities on polling day, and the post-election period. And throughout, we'll consider all factors relating to the credibility of the electoral process. We'll assess whether the elections are conducted according to the standards of democratic elections to which Nigeria has committed itself, including the constitutional framework and national legislation, as well as Commonwealth and other international commitments. As we undertake this assessment and conduct our duties, will be objective, independent, and, and impartial. And later today, the, my fellow observers and I will meet with the Chair of INEC, Professor Mahmoud Yakubu, to learn more about the preparations for polling day. We'll deploy our observers to different parts of the country to observe the campaigning, voting, counting, and results process, having taken into account the need to receive briefings from relevant stakeholders, including representatives of political parties, the government, independent institutions, the Commonwealth High Commissioners here in Abuja, and various civil society organizations, including groups representing gender, youth, and people with disabilities. Among other aspects, we'll consider whether the conditions exist for credible elections and whether the voting process is transparent and inclusive. The Commonwealth Observer Group has no executive role. Our function is not to supervise, but to observe the process as a whole and to form a judgment accordingly. We are here in our individual capacities as eminent and experienced Commonwealth citizens, and as such, our assessment will be our own and not that of any Commonwealth member government or organization. And following election day, will deliver an interim statement which will provide our group's preliminary assessment of the electoral process at the press conference on the 20th, 27th of February here in Abuja. And more details of the press conference will be shared by the Commonwealth staff supporting the observer group in due course. And on completion of our assessment, we will submit our recommendation in a report to the Commonwealth Commonwealth Secretary General who will forward it to the Government of Nigeria, the country's independent National Electoral Commission, the leadership of the political parties that have taken part that would have taken part in the elections, and then to all of the Commonwealth governments. And the report will then be made public. When we make our observations known, our intent is to offer constructive support to help strengthen the democratic culture processes and institutions in Nigeria. In doing so, the Commonwealth Observer Group will make recommendations to the authorities concerned on institutional, procedural, and other matters as would assist the holding of such elections uh, in future. And this month's elections will be Africa's largest democratic exercise it is clear that the outcomes of the elections will be significant not only for Nigeria, but also for the entire continent. And therefore, we urge all stakeholders in Nigeria to uphold their commitment to ensure a peaceful and inclusive election in which people of Nigeria are able to freely exercise their right to vote with the fundamental freedoms of expression, of association, of assembly fully respected. So on behalf of my fellow observers, uh, we wish Nigeria well as it holds the polls this Saturday. And the Nigerian people expect all stakeholders involved to play their part, ensuring that this month's elections are peaceful, transparent, and credible. And obviously we join, as the Commonwealth Observer Group, we join in that sentiment.
But thank you very much again, ladies and gentlemen of the media, for coming to this press conference.